In today's video, I'm going to show you the best method we currently have right now for money farming in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Currently at the minute, this is the best money farming guide that we've got. I've got to give a big shout out to my good friend Light over on Twitter, who actually sent me this information on the day of the new games dropping. Been using this method for a little while, I've just not really had the time to put the video up onto the channel until now. So a massive shout out to them. Their handle and their YouTube channel will be linked down in the description below. So do check their content out because they put some super interesting stuff out, especially on theories around the game and other guide stuff as well. Uh, it's pretty quick and easy to do and uh, it doesn't really take too much time. The place that you're gonna wanna visit is Cascarafa here on the map. You can see it, it is the town here and next to it is the Acero Desert, which is where we are wanting to go and uh, take advantage of this method. So this is something that you can do in the very early stages of your game as well. You're gonna be able to access this area. It makes it an even better method in general. So you can do this as soon as you're enrolled at the schools, just start now if you want to buy a lot of items if you want to buy a lot of pokeballs or other high cost items you can come here straight away and just money farm until you've got the money that you want so okay so once you come to this area you want to just come into the desert area here and literally all you're doing is looking for the shiny objects on the floor and the, well the glimmering items that's what I would say they look like they're like a shiny sparkly spot and any other items pokeballs or anything like that and you want to just be picking them up as you go through the desert there's one right there and you'll get an array of different items from soft sand to potions to stardust and star pieces which are really high value items so you're gonna get a lot of them what you just need to do is just literally do this just follow the wall up the desert path and um, you're gonna be able to come across loads of them and once you've done a sweep of the desert you get sunstone there you're gonna be able to do a method to kind of respawn all of these items in this area as well so you can come straight back through here and just keep doing this method until you no longer need to do it. It's a great method and like I say it's the best method that we've got currently at the moment. I'm sure there will be better methods that do get discovered and as soon as there are we'll cover them on the channel so you've got even more methods to generate uh, the, all the resources you need in these games because there are a lot of items in these games that do cost a lot of money. If you're doing competitive Pokemon as well in particular it can be difficult to get like items for EV and especially if you're EVing through vitamins and things like that they are costly costs a lot of money and you're gonna need a lot of it to EV an entire team of six Pokemon so you know having something like this where you can come and maybe spend half an hour just to get enough money so you can EV maybe one Pokemon is a great resource it's not taking a lot of time out of your day to do and you're gonna find a bunch of items that are useful you're not it's not really any bother it doesn't take too much brain power to think about you're literally just wandering through the desert and picking up anything that's shiny or looks like an item and like I say, once you've done one sweep of the desert, you can just use that date skip glitch. You want to just save your game and then go into your home menu, go down to settings, date and time, skip the day forward one day, make sure your synchronized clock is off via the internet. God, I've done this too many times. Skip the day forward, then come back into the game, reload it up, and all the items in this area will have respawned. So you can just run through it one more time. And um, like I say, do it until you're satisfied with the amount of items that you've got. So you can see the amount as well around here, like Stardust as well and things like that around the, this higher area of the desert. You're gonna get a lot more of the higher cost items. So it is a really good method to take advantage of and it is probably quite a popular one. It's probably the, the method at the moment, like I say, but um, I do like it and uh, I love seeing the Stardust just stack up in our, our boxes as well. So I'm gonna finish off this run until we get down to the Pokemon Center and we had like 352,000 so you know doing this for literally less than 10 minutes which it'll be by the time we get to the Pokemon Center we'll see how much we've made in that amount of time okay I think this might be the last one is there any more as we're getting closer there's one more Stardust please be a Stardust missed it it is a potion of course it's a potion but a potion still a potion 
can still sell potions and you've got really no use for potions in the late, late stages of the game so once you're kind of done like I say with it it's a really straightforward method you just come to the Pokemon Mart here and talk to this chap and um, I'll just move my camera as well so we can I'll just move my camera so we can see how much money we're gonna make here so we'll just go to sell and we'll come to uh, uh, I'm not gonna sell any of the big mushrooms and nuggets and stuff or pearl or the rare bond because we didn't get any of those we did get a star piece though so that was quite good so that's 6,000 to start with and then all of the stardust 27 of them that we got in that one run which is a lot that's 40,000 which is a crazy amount of money there and then the portions as well so you can sell portions 28 of those and that's you know that's a lot of cash and then we got other items as well like your sunstone and things like that which i wonder how much a sunstone sells for 750 so it's not bad a moonstone as well the same so we've got a bunch of those i'd prefer to keep them though because they're useful items to have for evolving pokemon but you get the idea you this was like just a 10 minute run a 10 minute run and i made a bunch of cash and i could literally now just save my game do that datescape glitch like we talked about and then go back and do it again for another 10 minutes or another 30 minutes and the money will just stack up and you'll be able to you'll just have as much money as you need depending on the time you want to spend doing this so i hope you found this guide useful if you have please drop a like on the video it massively helps out the channel and uh, if you're new do subscribe as well for more pokemon scholar and violet content and thanks for tuning in friends and until next time see you later so until then bye bye